So Apple just had their keynote a few days ago and I thought I'd give you guys a recap as to what was revealed. So for the first part of the keynote, they introduce a updated version of the Apple Watch, which is the Series 4 now. Uh, as you can see, the screen's a little bit bigger than it was before. Uh, the smallest starts at 40 millimeters and the largest is 44. So up the largest up 2 millimeters from last year's 42. It has an array of new features such as fall detection. So if a person falls down and they're down for a period of time, the watch will automatically call an ambulance and, uh, and have you rescued. Now there's other features that the Series 4 comes out with such as better waterproofing, detecting irregular beats in your heart rate, better waterproofing and whatnot. Uh, and although I find those very interesting, the one thing that excited me the most about the keynote was talking about the iPhones. So Apple introduced an iterative update to the iPhones this year. Uh, so they came out with the 10s and the 10s Max, which is a plus size version of the regular iPhone 10. Now both these phones are still rocking premium materials such as stainless steel around the sides. Uh, now it has a new color option, which is gold, as along with the silver and the space gray. And also my favorite thing in a smartphone is the display and iPhone nailed it with these OLED screens. They contain the new A12 Bionic chip, which is a, one of the most powerful chips ever in a smartphone, uh, being able to process trillions of operations per second. And one thing that I think is pretty cool is that you're able to adjust the depth effect on the portrait picture after you've taken it, which is something that Android phones have been doing for quite a number of years. One thing that did impress me with the new iPhone is now that it's able to record in stereo sound as well as produce a more surround sound experience when you're watching movies or playing video games uh, as opposed to the more forward facing sound in the older phones. One thing I love that Apple does is they put a lot of R&D into augmented reality. In my opinion, AR is going to become very popular in the next year or two. With the new release of iOS 12 coming out shortly, they're going to put productivity apps built right into the OS, such as being able to measure a desk with the cameras, place virtual objects on countertops to see if it'll fit. And my favorite is the gaming. As you can see here, they, they have multiple people set up playing uh, virtual gaming on a table. And these games are just going to constantly keep getting better and better. And I think that a lot of people are going to want to come over and play these types of games because all you really need is an iPhone. And that's one thing I like about Apple is that this augmented reality is somewhat proprietary to their, their hardware and software right now. And that's one that's a really great selling point for people who want to switch over from Android to iOS because of this augmented reality. So just as I thought the keynote was almost over, Apple decided to pull one more thing out of their sleeves, another iPhone. And this time it's called the iPhone XR. No one seems to know what the R stands for, but all I can tell you is it's a cheaper version of the XS and XS Max. Uh, it uses cheaper materials such as aluminum frame around the phone as opposed to stainless steel. As well as the screen is not OLED technology, they use an LCD panel. Uh, it's cheaper to manufacture, uh, but you don't get those vibrant blacks, deep blacks and uh, vivid colors with a LCD panel. Uh, it has a bigger bezel and a single camera on the rear. But a nice feature is it does come in multiple colors. And I don't want to get too far into it, but uh, it, does, uh, it does have the same A12 Bionic chip. Uh, so the same internals, uh, it's just as fast as the, the 10s and 10s Max. And the screen size is 6.1 inches, putting it right in between the 5.8 inch 10s as well as the 6.5 inch 10s Max. Um, but they, it is at a cheaper price point, starting at $749 American. They're just trying to appeal to a broader audience. So the iPhone XR you won't be able to pre-order until October 19th and it'll go on sale a week later. I'm not sure why there's a delay. I think something to do with the LCD panels. Uh, but the iPhone XS and XS Max you can order right now uh, and have it available September 21st. And one thing I forgot to mention is the memory for each of these phones. Uh, the configurations are 64, 256, and 512 gigabytes. Uh, and the lowest, obviously the lowest price is the 64 gigs, starting at 999 for the 10s and 1099 
for the XS Max. And keep in mind, these are American. So up in Canada here, that starts at $1,519. I'm thinking of taking out a loan against my mortgage to pay for this phone. So there you guys go. That is a quick recap of the Apple 2018 keynote. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And let me know in the comments down below if one of you guys are going to buy one of these iPhones this year, or maybe just sit it out and wait until next year's iPhone 11 or whatever it may be called. If you feel like being fancy tonight, please hit that subscribe button. And remember to always spank that like button. See you guys in the next video. Peace.